Hi, I'm Todd Nock. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, um, doing a new commission illustration here on this Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man issue number one blank variant. So, uh, gonna draw Spidey today. So, um, for this video, just doing the pencil art and then we'll have the uh, ink and marker art to follow uh, in, in, in uh, subsequent videos. So, let's um, flip the camera around. Let's get to drawing. Okay, so here we have our Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man number 300. It's a number 300 blank variant. I said number one, I meant to say number 300. That's the uh, legacy issue number. So, um, got my Uni Kuratoga uh, mechanical pencil, 0.3 HB lead. And let's just start to uh, rough in Spidey's pose and shapes here. So, looking at the space I have to use here, I'm going to try to put in a, a kind of a fun swinging pose. So starting off with the head here. Let's see, kind of kind of get the spine going there, kind of get the flow of the movement, the action. So you get the arm coming across this way. Then we have the chest. The upper abdomen. The abs. Gonna have one leg coming up here, so we got the the thigh or the thigh coming up to the knee, because utilize some force shortening here. So we're having that thigh bringing the knee towards us, and then the the shin coming coming down. Calf muscles there to the ankles, then to the foot, and kind of kind of foreshorten this foot. So the toes are coming towards us, and then back to the heel. Back side of the thigh to the buttocks, inner thigh muscle there. And we have the other leg. Gonna pull the other leg isn't going to come up quite as high as the previous leg, but it's still going to come towards us. Kind of the belt area, the groin area. Pull that other thigh, and then from the knee, I'll have the shin coming down, coming back a little bit, calf muscles, and then the foot hanging, hanging down. So the ankle there shin to the back of the foot, the instep, top of the foot, and then where the toes would be. Toes would be right down inside there. Let's see if we can get these arms figured out here. Get the head figured out. Well, what we really foreshortened foreshortened this with a hand. Sorry, a lot of thinking going on here as I'm figuring out this puzzle. So really, really foreshortened if we had the forearm here. So we're at the wrist, essentially that was where the wrist would be. We'll put the hand in in a moment. So we've got the forearm, and then that's really gonna cover up the upper part of the arm to the shoulder. Man, it's so scribbly, it's gonna be hard for me to... Uh, I've got a lot of scribbles in here. I'm gonna have to figure out where I want everything to be here in a moment. So the 
bicep is like right there hidden behind and the, the tricep and the lat Get that, get those thwip fingers going. So index finger, middle finger knuckle, ring finger knuckle, pinky knuckle, middle and ring finger coming down. Thumb, so we got the palm and then the thumb. Then we have the pinky here. Yeah, I'm going to uh, do a light erasing here so I can kind of discern which part is which. And then we can throw a web line down like that. Forehead, right there. So this is just really a lot of just the puzzle piece stage here. Everything, just putting this puzzle together bit by bit. Just really breaking things down as best I, as best as possible. So we got the pecs there to the shoulder. Figure out what this left arm is going to do and kind of start roughing this in. Maybe the something like this. Get that bice up there. Knuckle, 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 knuckle. So your knuckles should arc. Index finger, the middle finger is a little higher, then ring fingers down lower, and then the pinky is a little lower. They should arc, not go straight across necessarily. And a thumb there. And this web line coming out like this. And then leftover webs swinging and flipping about. Okay, so the eyes go right there. Now what I'm gonna do is take my kneaded art gum eraser. So this just gives us the, the basic pose of everything. Just the generalized where everything is at. So I got, I, I've got my, my foundation now that I can uh, build on. So I'm just taking my kneaded art gum eraser here and I'm just stretching it out, refreshing it. It's a nice thing about this is what you can do with a kneaded art gum eraser. Just stretch it out, smush it all together and now I can and kind of start to lightly erase what I've penciled here. Just going to do a light erasing over the entire thing. So you can still see a ghost image here. What we're going to do here is tighten up the pencils. But in order for me to know what I want to see, I need to, you know, when I do my tight pencils, is I need to get rid of 
so much of this this breakdown so so scribbly so now starting at the with my most foreground object which would be this index finger as well as this whole hand I can start to do fairly tighter pencils not the tightest tightest pencils but tighter than what y'all usually see me do here on on my YouTube channel because I end up doing my own inks for these types of illustrations I don't really do the tightest of pencils because I know what I'm going to come in and do with my ink lines but for this one let's let's do some tighter pencils here to help y'all see more of the details that can come about in the pencil stage again these aren't the tightest pencils I can do but they're tighter tighter than what you usually see me do should bring about a bit more clarity in see a little web shooter right there give you a little more clarity into seeing my process here in fact, let's go ahead and kind of get a good consistent web line here so I'm using my French curve he's got the nozzle angled down here so just gonna throw in a few lines here getting a little thinner from the web shooter a little thicker as we move away from it so got the glove there we have the web pattern so we have the initial spokes and then we have the concentric web circles to go around I say circles because it's kind of a circular pattern I'll put the little curves to each web line in the ink stage don't really want to spend the time to draw in the individual curves here in the pencil stage knowing that I can hit that when I do the inks so all that foundational work is now a ghost image that I can now build off of I know the shapes of my muscles here that I'll be utilizing So just tight enough So now I'm just going to kind of start just putting in putting in the shapes and the, the lines for the muscles that I need to see. Now I'm keeping the line art pretty open because I really want to I'm going to do a lot of the rendering with color for this piece. So I'm not going to, so I'm going to, where I usually put in a lot of blacks for the blue areas of Spider-Man's costume, I'd probably be leaving pretty well open because of the uh, marker rendering that I'll be doing. And the, I'll be doing the inks and the markers in a separate video. More than likely a live stream, so make sure you're subscribed and ready to tune in for that so you don't miss out. On watching live you can always come back and see any live stream 
um, as one of my videos here on my channel, but uh, I know a lot of people like to watch the live stream live. I appreciate that. So do make sure you're subscribed and set your notifications to alert you when I schedule a live stream or upload a video. This is my shorthand for the gloves. So I just wanted, I did lines all the way across there. So when I go to ink, I know to go boop, 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 boop for each finger. I'll ink the, the curves, the webs. Essentially those are web lines. Um, ink those separately. But for the pencil stage, just my shorthand. N n note for myself on how I want to um, approach that. Yeah, I was working on his eyes, that's right. Most of the time I like to put in the white part first, the white lens, and then put in the black trim around it. Then in between both the eyes, the little circle right in the middle of his mask to build as the, the center point of the web on his mask. Center line down the middle, and then one on each side of the center line, and another one, and then from the center coming down to his chin. I prefer the split. Some people do the line all the way straight down. I prefer the classic split to the corners of the chin, and then another one on each side of those two, and then another one. That's how I like to build my Spidey mask. I like the classic look. Or what I consider the classic Spider-Man mask web look. Alright, let's, let's see. I want to get this leg figured out here. So I'm starting with the knee. Connecting it to the waist. down to the groin area. So I know where my legs, my thighs connect, the hips. Curve that belt around. Belt come, so I know the line, center line is gonna come right down here. Would essentially come all the way down to there so I know my belt comes to a point right there in the middle. Got my shin bone there, down to the ankle. Right, a little cap.
have muscle. Boot coming across there. Some little wrinkles there at the uh, the fold of his pants. So they bunch up around his knees. Now for the foot, this is a very challenging shape here for the foot. So that's the, uh, essentially would be the very front. In fact, I can, as a guide, I can put that center web line running right down his shin to his foot, right down to the center of his foot. And then we also have the heel. And the thigh. To the buttocks. And his other other leg here to the knee. Have that little one little thigh muscle that kind of overlaps the knee. Kind of a square shape here for the knee as the leg cuts back. Shin bone, calf muscle, boot, top the top of his boot, I should say, at the very least, down to the ankle there. Let's see. and round out the back of that thigh right there. Some wrinkles there from the cloth. The instep of his foot to the top of his foot and then to the toe area. And run that center line down his boot there, as we would see when we do the um, the webs. Start to structure out all the web, costume web bits. Let's see, for the first chest, I like to figure out the, the separation of the red and blue cuts. So they arc across the, at an angle across his chest muscles, his biceps there, or not his biceps, his pectoral muscles, I should say. These are his biceps. So, and then run this down to that, just to the outer edge of the abs, right down to the belt. So now I have that center line, and then the outer, the, the red-blue separation line going right down here, which would then arc up to his mask, like that. And now I wanna put one more line in between the center line and that outer line to get the full torso web pattern started. So that's all it is, one, two, three, four, five. And then I do the lines that would go towards his sleeves. So down the mask. Just like that.
So that gives me all of my initial spokes for his torso. And I just need to reflect this down in his belt, trying to keep the lines all equidistant. Okay, where's my um, French curve? Just want to draw in this web line that he's holding on to. We'll put some spaghetti strings around it. That when when Todd McFarlane really popular popularized this type of web in the late 1980s when I was a kid. They were nicknamed the spaghetti string webs because the web lines used to be drawn in just kind of a very, more of a, most artists did a more simplified uh, cross hatching, which worked. It's very, very retro, uh, or nowadays it would be considered very retro, but uh, it was so thrilling to see these spaghetti string webs as a kid that everybody wanted to draw them spaghetti string style. So that's kind of the nickname I grew up with and still referred to them. Got his striations of his neck muscles. Go ahead and put in the concentric circles here, or curves, I should say, of the web pattern. Let's go ahead and do the ones for his face. So starting from the middle, come, make the first circle, then trying to keep them as equidistant as possible. It's my preference. Do the next one, then just keep working our way out. All right, so that takes care of the bottom of his face, but we can still finish out towards the top of the head. Just one more ring there. And that's the top of his head. So that takes care of his mask, or the face part of his mask. For the chest, I like to start right where the where the red-blue line separation cuts to his shoulder. I like to start there, work my way around to the other side, and then it would curve on or up. It would see it curving on this side if his bicep wasn't covering it. Do another one, then work our way up the neck. And now from here, I can work my way down to the belt. Then we get to the belt, and then one more all the way around the belt. And that takes care of those lines. Then the spider goes right on that center line, head, and then the big old abdomen. and then the spider leg. So out, up, and back over. Out, up, back over. Out, down, back over. Out, down, back over. And then repeat on the other side. Out, up, back over. Out, up, back over. Out, down, back over. Oops, went a little too far. <laughs> this, is what, this is why we have erasers. A little too far, out, over, and or, or out, down, back over, out, down, back over. And I can adjust. So.
Okay, what's next? The boots. Gotta finish the webs of those boots. So we have that center line. The other one can come down that, that um, shin bone line. Maybe one there at the very edge, riding down to the ankle. Down the other side. Oops, that's a little too thin. Don't like how close that line was getting. That's a little better. And then curving around. You keep in mind the shape and form of the body and use the lines to curve around it. Do the same for this leg. All the way down the feet. There we go. Now just a little, a little more tightening up as we go here. Just a little bit more. We're just adding a little more detail or tightening up some details. We'll get some spaghetti strings going here on this web. That is shooting. So it's uh, these kind of big curvy curly ones that go around and then some coils can be fun too. And sometimes there's like this stray strand that's coming around as well as like the web line is web line is building. Okay, I don't like how that one. See, this is a problem here. This this web line has come like this, but this boot line is coming like that. So these two lines are have now created a tangent. They're both on the same curve. That's bad. We don't want that to happen. It's a design. It's an it's a, a not a, a, a pleasing or appealing design element. So I need to readjust so that it's no longer a tangent. So I I arc it to where it crosses over that boot line and now it doesn't create such a tangent and doesn't look look odd to the eye I just kind of just going over everything, just adding a little more detail, just continuing just to flesh things out. Just need a little more lead here. Come on, pencil, give me some lead. So what do I have going on down here? Let's clarify this just a little bit better. wrist bone that sticks out on the out, outside of our wrist right there. Just want to get that in there, get that little web shooter nozzle down here to the elbow. I 
Yeah, and we have the rest of this web line that's going to come through here. Shows up on the other side. Throw some spaghetti strings on there. I see here the where the thigh to the knee. This web line a little too close to being a tangent, so design-wise, have to break that up. Move, move it down here so these lines don't meet up. These two objects' lines don't meet up. Move it down just a little bit in a better design place. Just let the web line just curve, curve around here. Just like that. Okay, and there we go. That's Those are our basic, or my basic pencils, I should say. Uh, basic pencil lines here. Fairly tight pencil art for me for these types of videos, these types of illustrations. I usually get super duper sketchy when I do my pencils. But this here, a bit tighter. Um, and the next video, which will be a live stream here on should be scheduled here for Saturday, August 3rd. So it's quick turnaround from uh, this uploaded pencil art video, just erasing some of these extra little pencil foundation lines I don't need anymore, just to kind of make it look a little cleaner. Um, the next uh, video will be the inks and watercolors. It'll be a live stream. So please join me for that if you can. I'll have it scheduled here on my YouTube channel. You should be able to see it. and and see what time that will air in your time zone. And you can join me for the inks and marker colors. I'll be using some new art tools for this, for the inks and colors. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, so there'll be more, I'll explain more of that in the art and inked video. So let's flip the camera around and sign off here. So there we go. Finished with the pencil art. Spider-Man on this Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man number 300 blank variant here. Uh, so, so much fun to do these pencils here. Really looking forward to doing the inks and the colors. Inks and the colors with a brand new brand of uh, markers and pens that I'll be using for the inks and colors. More of that, like I said, will be in the video in the live stream that I'll be doing here Saturday, August 3rd? Yes, August 3rd. Um, I'll have it scheduled here on my channel so you know when to tune in. I'm going to have it scheduled here right away. So uh, so please do join me for this. I'm very excited to uh, try out these new markers and uh, pens and, and share my thoughts with you. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you again real soon. Keep on drawing. Keep having fun.